Hello, amazing people. Welcome to today's stream. I'm just like vibing to the music here. It's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Best theme song ever. Can we can we all just unanimously agree on that? It's it is a top-notch <laughs> intro song. This should be my new intro song always. I love this so much. <laughs> Hello, hello, Moseph! Hello, Westlore, Yeet Roki, all of the amazing people. My little PNG man has been struggling, and I'm trying to fix it. I don't know why he's being weird. He he just is so excited about getting his dream daddy. And he, he just, he's just not working because of that. Daddy time. I'm honestly shocked that daddy is a permitted term. But I'm, I'm sure I manually put that in as a term before. I don't remember the context, but I'm like 99% sure that is why. I I don't know if I should be ashamed, but I'm not. <laughs> Wait, I've got nine 30 second ads. Hold the dream. No, why? How, I didn't even think it was possible to get nine. That's like beat some records. Holy shit. I, I think you should get an award for that. That is insane. Also, thank you so much for the hug! I- I love hugs. Hugs are amazing. <laughs> I love my hug command so much. I wanna, like, uh, change it so, like, it's more, like, customizable and you can hug specific people and things. But right now, no, you just receive a digital hug. Congratulations. Today, as everyone can tell from the amazing music, we're playing Dream Daddy, where we are a hot dilt dad. And we get to like design our own dad and stuff. And the goal is to date other hot dads. Beautiful. Hot, like as gay a game as you can get. Okay, I reloaded and was able to skip some of the ads because my brain is much more I yeah, that's fair. Why the fuck would they give that many ads? That just makes absolutely no sense. Which is really, really not feeling the holiday spirit, apparently. Before we start playing, I just I I was looking through the reviews, like, right before, st right before stream of this game. And I just want to read- they're, they're all, like, really fucking funny. All of them are so funny. Some of them are just normal, they like this game because of inclusivity, main character creation, blah blah blah. Some would just say, fun as hell, gay as hell too. Beautiful, beautiful. Other other ones, just in all caps, hot dilks. These are the top three ones that come up. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, then we go to this one. One day, a nice gay person found a monkey's paw and wished for more positive queer representation in games. And this is the result of that detached hands index figure curling inward, a game that is definitely queer representation, written entirely by straight people who either hate gay people or think that they're a punchline to a joke. I think I would kind of prefer if the creators of the game just subjected me to a hate crime instead. To be honest, at least that would be sincere. So that is giving me so much faith in this. Honestly, that made me so much, like, genuinely made me so much excited. <laughs> I want to see you. I want to see what we think. What's, what's the game representation like? This is what we're starting with. It's starting off strong. I'm sure it's only going to go downhill from here. I need to know how conser- how <laughs> conservative we're acting to <laughs> Hot men, yes! So many of them. And we get to become one. We get to become one. Look, look. Are we ready for hot men? Or is it just too overwhelming for you? Because that might be a possibility. There's just too many. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. <laughs> no, too much. Well, too bad. Because we're gonna see even more hot men. And we're gonna flirt with those hot men. I know, we're just gonna explode of gayness. It's it just the gayness is gonna go everywhere, okay? I don't think there's homophobic ones. I would hope not. This game is, like, as gay as it could possibly be. I'm good with that. I think everyone's good with that. Everyone is good with that. Just men. Look, pretty, beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I added a new channel point redemption, which is first. I I was wondering how long it would take people to figure that out, but I made it. And now whoever's first gets to claim that. 
I'm pretty sure people are gonna forget every time they come in the stream, but you are special. You are first. You do win! Blob. Good job! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and thank you so much for the high trick. I really appreciate it. For anyone that is new in chat, we have a rule here. You, if you are listening to this, whether you're watching, whether your mother is on the other side of the room overhearing this, whether your dog is sleeping somewhere near you, everyone that can hear this right now has to go get water and actually drink some. Because that you just you need to drink water. Hydrate too, please. It's the rule here. You're legally required to, okay? It, it's just how it is. Unless you're fasting or something like can't drink, which I know people have said that before. But now that we are all beautifully hydrated, except I forgot to actually take a sip of the water. There we go. We are ready to become a hot dill. The music, beautiful, makes this so much. <laughs> I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. it it's so funny to me. Zzz, zzz. No, you do not shame me for my water bottles. I was, uh, for Christmas, I, uh, part of it, I was FaceTiming with Moses, and they were quite amused by the fact that there is literally, there was six water bottles. I, one was empty, two were full, and two I was actively drinking. So it's not that bad. And now we're down to four water bottles. Two are nearly empty and two are full. So, like, we're, we're, we're going down. I've already drank, like... And I think I even got a new one. So, like, we're making our way through the water, okay? You can't shame me. I am drinking water. I'm hydrating. You do not hydrate. I'm just better, okay? My hydration powers are superior. Do you think there's an exception if you're fasting and start choking to death on air? Or you just, you'll... I feel like if you're dying, you can always make an exception. I feel like dying is an exception to a lot of things. I... I would recommend not doing that. I don't think we need to find out the rules. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't die. I, I would not appreciate that. I'm sure- I'm 100% sure I'm supposed to be snoring, but I'd rather just buzz. Dad. Dad, wake up. <laughs> okay, we have the first choice already. We can either wake up. Loser's answer. Who- who does that? Who actually wakes up when they're told? Or, my favorite, pretend to be dead. That is always the answer. When in doubt, just like curl up like a skunk and just get out. Just, just no. Or five more minutes. There's a correct answer to this. There is an easy correct answer to this. You can't disagree with me on this. I let my tongue roll into my mouth and stop breathing. I'm trying to look for music while I read this and it's not going good. Why can I not find any of my streaming playlists? Why? I want things that are not DMCA. <laughs> Nibuzz, that's the end game. Honestly, I am on my third, like, this is like, not, it's, what username is this? I've been through like a lot of usernames in my time. Nebulous is honestly really recent. I haven't even been a full, has it been a full year? Oh, we're like literally just approaching like a full year anniversary of the name Nebulous. Or at least Nebulous Live. Nebulous has been around a little bit longer than that. But we're, we're making it through. I just imagine my tongue coming out of my mouth in a cartoon. I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. We're just becoming a living cartoon. I'm good with that. Like look at my PNG tuber. I'm already so many steps of the way there. See? Amanda shakes me. Come on, dad. It hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Did that crash? Did, does, oh no, okay, there we go. Amanda, I bequeath, what the fuck is that word? I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. But my PNG tuber's in the way. Why, why does nothing like me today? I'm about to die, guys. Are you gonna mourn my death? Will you come to my funeral? I vote yes. Everyone should come to my funeral. But Quent is like death gift. I understand that you're trying to explain that to me, but now I'm just more confused. Okay. Well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Oh. 
I finally opened my eyes and stood up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Sounds like a greatest nap ever. I'm good with that. Look, wet is like a death gift. Like in the will, I think. A death gift. I, I don't like that phrasing. So like a will, so I'm willing things to. I don't know. Like you're dying. You... So it's basically another word for willing. But like willing as in that like other kind of will. Hello, Hyper. Hello, hello. Welcome to today's stream. We're, we're, we're about to become a DILF. This, uh, this is important news. Everyone needs to know the amount of DILFness we're about to have. <laughs> Hyper fancy seeing here. Traitor not gonna lie. No, no, Hyper is just everywhere. Hyper, Hyper is, like, every chat I go into, I swear I either see Hyper E or Cotton. They're everywhere. I, I feel like I watch a decent bit of Twitch. And they've all beat me by so much. I am don't know if I should be impressed or concerned, but either way, I am here for it. <laughs> Neb is becoming daddy. We will see. We will see. Morning, Manda Panda. Oh, that's adorable. I love the nickname. Stupid nicknames are like the way to my heart. I love them way too much. Uh, Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Ooh. Dad tip number 11. It's rude to ask people about their oh, mysterious pasts. <laughs> I don't see you live at Westlore. Calling people out like that, you can't do that. Okay, we get to like fully... I, I get to check. Oh, I thought it was like being bald or not. Do we want to be hairy? I can be extra gay and wear a crop top. I'm really fucking pale. I'm not that... That, that might be... I, I think we're about this fail, maybe a little less. You guys have nothing for reference, you're taking my word for it. Oh my god, we can be chiseled. We can be so chiseled. <laughs> so where have you been, Hyper? Hyper just fell off the face of the earth, it happens sometimes. It does, it does. What? I don't like that we just have really blonde eyebrows. That just looks strange. I. Oh wait, maybe we go with like red. Oh no, that's too red. I wanna kinda do my PNG tuber. Oh, the eyebrows. The eyebrows make that so much worse. Danny hair. Oh, we have so many options. I feel like all the options for hair always suck. These are more decent than usual, especially because they give amazing balding options. But still, no. Yeah, I'm trying. I the, I think I need to fix the blonde eyebrows. They're disturbing me too much to continue with this. They're disturbing me too. Don't you think my PNG tuber looks like this? I I don't look like Caillou. That, we can be da Daddy Caillou if you want. I'm so down to be Daddy Caillou. Or we could look like an actual reasonable person. That's... Why does it keep like... Steam is like ups being mean to me. Oh my god. Oh, I see why Steam's being mean to me. One of my very cool friends gifted me a gift. Oh my god, this is awesome. People are very cool. Very, very cool. That's why Steam is bothering me so much. I want to- I kind of want to be balding. The, the blonde eyebrows of the bald head was just yikes. No, it was just yikes. Just the blonde eyebrows are so yikes no matter what. You cannot fix that. I- I'm good blob. with this. Oh, I love the blub. The blub is beautiful. Maybe? I'm- mm, I- I think we go with this one. Because there's not- it's- they never have the correct curly hair. That is not it. I think this might be our only option. Oh! <gasps> Do we? Oh. I think- I think we might. This just represents our mood for the entire time we were around the dopes. This is- this is the best representation we can get. We just gotta fix those brows. Oh my god, we can be a- oh! Don't, look at the sass coming off of that, it's beautiful. Hear my voice just scared the fucking shit. Blob. Blob. <laughs> I hear your voice, like, every stream, like, 20 times a stream. I, I can make this bigger, you can- here, here, it's beautiful. I hear it so often, like, 
The blub sound effect is the most popular one by a lot. It's beautiful. I am giving fruity. Everything about me is giving fruity, so this character has to, like, embody it. Oh my god, the sass is just going up. I- That's just creepy. That's- These are- Oh. Well, all of them are so creepy. I think we might just have to go with that. It's still giving, like- It's just giving, like, sassy creepy. It's not giving, like, creepy creepy. We, we don't want to go full into creepy creepy. Maybe? I'm- Mmm, what do you guys think? I'm- I don't like- mm. No, that's just- I look like a psychopath, okay. The meow is beautiful too. We also appreciate the meow. We- we have space in our heart for the blub and the meow, okay? Okay, we- we can love both of them. I can add a meow sound alert for you if you would like. Honestly, I feel like this nose is like the closest to my actual nose that I've ever seen in like a video game. May no, that just looks worse. I think we're going with that one. I Oh my god! We can make this even better. Should I grow a mustache? What do you guys think? Should I grow a mustache? Wouldn't I look so good with <laughs> with the mustache? I both hate and love a meow sound alert for me. Oh, I got into VC with Percy for like the first Percy aka Gravity TM underscore, the amazing, the beautiful person that drew my PNG tuber, my, some of my emotes, my profile picture, all that amazing stuff. And the first thing they did is meow. And they said, I don't, they said that I'm just a person that it's very easy to meow to. I don't know how to feel about that. But that's really good information to have. I'm gonna go have a good stream. Bye. Bye, Hyper. Have an amazing night. Merry Christmas, guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much for coming. I think it should be green for festive. Oh my god, we can have a. Really? Cool. I'm slightly digging this. I'm slightly digging this Santa beard. What do we think? You are. You were very used to me, aren't you? That is the greatest compliment I've ever gotten. Thank you so much. If Percy can do it, I can too. See, I'm giving you the faith to meow. Giving you that confidence. I am hyping you up, King. You can meow. <laughs> You're not gonna lie, I can't. Honestly, I'm digging it. Like, I don't know if glasses will ruin it or not, but I do have glasses. And my PNG tuber, they're, they're not real glasses. But in real life, I have actual glasses. Hmm, I kind of like, I'm kind of digging these, but I don't know if they take away from the look or not. What do we think? Maybe they kind of cover the eyebrows, which add to the amazing sass. <laughs> I'll send you a meow alert tomorrow. Thank you. You've made my day. I, I appreciate it. And we can get piercings. We can be edgy, like, gay Santa. No, we can't have a piercing through our mustache. That's not okay. Mm. I feel like black will fit better with our glasses. Oh my god, this is a nebulous game face reveal? Oh, shocker, get a shock. I know, I'm exposing myself right now. This is an impulsive face reveal. I really hope you guys are, like, just be nice to me. I'm, I'm being vulnerable, you know? I'm exposing myself like this. I, I really hope you like how I look. I, I know it might be a shocker to some people, but... This is the real me, guys. This is the real me. Yeah, yeah, Mosef can confirm this is exactly how I look. This is so accurate. Oh, oh my, we get to look, we get to look even edgier. Oh, we, we can be like, oh, I love these. These are like the, some of these are actually like decent. They're like the fruitiest outfits ever though. It might just be like the twink pose I'm doing right now, but like, I want, I want, but no, I, I'm conflicted right now. I am so conflicted right now. The stars one. Oh, that's actually a reasonable one. I feel like this, this, I like this though. I look fancy. This also might just be because in real life, I like dressing up for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Takes a bit to get used to, but we can accept them eventually. 
Thank you. Thank you. You need to accept me for who I truly am. It's it's the only way we can be friends. It's the only way I can be a content creator. You just need to accept me for my gray beard, for my heart-shaped eyes, for my amazing gayness, okay? It stars one. No, because that's a free myself fruit. Do you mean this stars one or like the normal stars one? The cave goes so crazy. I we're not we're but I know. We we need to look like a functioning person. We I like this one. Or maybe I think I'm digging the cats. Look at the cats. If it was on brand, I'd go with the orange one. A little like I look like a cute like plant tad. Look, all of these are adorable. I want to go for suits. Or this one, because this one's funny. I could just be naked. That is also an option, apparently. That works, too. The swirly triangle ones. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm so digging it. It looks like something I own in real life. I do. I honestly actually kind of own <laughs> I don't think I have a proper, like, I don't have that fancy of a suit jacket. But yeah. It's on brand. The normal. Oh. Look, but don't I look, I look adorable with cats. I look adorable with cats. I, adorable. Cats. Yes? Do, do I get permission from you guys? Because I look adorable. Yes, cats. See? You see what I'm saying? You see the, uh, the advantages of cats, okay? Kitty. I've got 10 suits and then tons of random suit dragons. I think you have more suits than I do. I... Okay, that just... If chat's gonna, if chat's gonna meow at me, then that decides it. We have to go... I, Cotton told... Cotton, someone who normally comes in my chat, told me last stream to stick with the theme. We always have the same first name. So, we, we're just going with it. This is our full name. I, I've just doxed myself to you guys, but I, I hope, I hope you, I hope you like it. I'll be so upset if you don't. It, it's my name. You, this is what we always choose for dating sims. It's, it's just, I did it once as a joke and now it's become my reality. It's just the way it has to be. <laughs> I need to have a word with your mother for that name. She's asleep right now. We, I, I have to remind myself, keep my voice down. She is asleep right now. I do not want her overhearing this of all streams. Of all streams, she cannot overhear. But daddy would have been so good. But I'm dating daddies as well. There's multiple daddies and I don't want to be related to the other daddies. That's, that's a no-go. <laughs> or the hospital staff. That, that is fair. <laughs> that, that is fair. Gay game per. Yes, yes. It's the gayest game ever. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. I don't- we're not the I- we look so funny. Oh, <gasps> there's two of me! Oh my god. Aren't we- we're like twinning. Right? This is me. You wanna look beautiful. Should I make that my new PNG tuber? Because, you know, that- that is the real me. I- I could- I could. <laughs> I- may, maybe not, maybe not, but still. Oh, 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 okay, I will- Wait, do you want me to make my- me kiss myself? Wait, what may be copyrighted? Uh, there's like a special streamer setting that uh, I made sure that it didn't choose copyrighted music. And if it did not save that setting, then I'm fucked, but it's okay. Hello, Smirky Shadow. Ne Merry late Christmas. It's still Christmas in my time zone. It's 9.27 PM, so it is still very much Christmas. We are in that gay Christmas spirit, okay? Very much Christmas. Hello, hello. Did you sleep through all of Christmas? If so, a good for you, I guess. I hope you slept well. <laughs> self-love, exactly. We, we need that self-love in our lives. It's 12.27 for me. My, my Christmas is just longer than yours. My Christmas is better. I get more Christmas. Even if it's the same exact 24 hours, I still get more. I beat you. Gay Christmas is the best Christmas. Exactly. And Christmas where you're trying to date DILFs, superior Christmas, superior Christmas. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. Huh? What's in it? 
looked into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. <gasps> Memories! I love photo albums. They're so annoying to have in person, but they're also really awesome to look through. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Oh my God, that baby is just vibing. I love it, that is so cute. This is how all baby photos should be. <laughs> the word slut popped up. I spit out my drink. I completely forgot. <laughs> That's gonna pop up a lot. Do not worry. You're gonna get a little shock every single time. The annoying thing is, if I do post clips of this on TikTok, which I usually do, I probably, probably should like blur out the slut. But that is too much work. The the slut is part of me. I I can't I can't get rid of it. I got the best gift ever, an electric razor. <laughs> I don't have to hurt myself trying to shave. Shaving is not fun whatsoever. I feel like I'd still find a way to hurt myself. I, I, I would still manage. Don't trust me with sharp objects, please. Neb, you've given me an amazing gift. My presence? <laughs> Just simply trim it out of it's easy. <laughs> true, true. But yeah, but that's, I'm lazy. I, I will eventually if I do. But we will see. I might just include it and see what the TikTok gods decide. Because the TikTok gods don't like me either way. Like, my FYP was a bunch of alt-right shit for some reason. <laughs> you dragged me out of political TikTok. You're welcome. I've sent you straight into D&D &D TikTok, as I should. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I've only sent you, like, a few D&D TikToks, and it still might be enough. I pull out... I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top pile and we begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. <gasps> Wait, I can choose whether I'm straight or not? This, this is an obvious choice. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. <gasps> this sentence is the best sentence ever for so many reasons. Gayness and adorable child in sunglasses. I love this so much. I've never seen or played D&D in my whole life. I hardly know what this. Then you should check out my amazing D&D &D channel on YouTube, which I stream supposedly weekly. It's been a little bit, it's, it's been a bit of a mess lately, but supposedly weekly every Sunday at 11 a.m. PST or 1 p.m. CST. We do like three hours, sometimes more stream where we do a whole D&D &D session. Sometimes we do one shot, sometimes we work on the campaign we have going. We just started a new one. We have a bunch of cool stuff going and it's really, really awesome. I love D&D, it is very awesome. I'm still kind of new to it, but it's so cool. If you like like fantasy stuff, story-based stuff, just like, just like, if you like story-based games, I think you would definitely like d and I do a lot. It's so, I recommend it so much. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. That's adorable! Emotional support sunglasses. That is so cute. It's been the first two years of life with sunglasses on. I feel like that's like weird for like your eyes. That that can't be good for a baby's eyes. Do, wait, do I not have... Wait, I just realized I haven't actually set any links to the Natural Thomas' channel on like... I don't even think I put it on my link tree. Oh, I'm just realizing this. Why have I never done this? You, I don't think it'll let you send links, so I'm looking for this right now. Okay. If you just search up natural dumbasses on YouTube, it should come, or just go to YouTube like slash natural dumbasses. Yes. Wait. For me, it says that the link doesn't work, but all right. I don't like games that take long. Honestly, every game I play ends up taking five times as long as it should. For so many reasons. Part of it's the dumbness, part of it's the distractedness, part of this is I am talking to chat about random stuff. It's actually the first result too, by the way. Yes, as it should be. It's so awesome. I really hope we like start up with it again. We missed today's stream and I think we might miss next week's stream just based on like the holidays it lands on but I'm not completely sure. And to check out our Twitter, you get updates about that and stuff. And there's a ton of updates in my Discord. We're always talking about D&D stuff, which is amazing. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four? Oh my fucking God. 
That is the cutest costume ever. I love children. Yeah, I have a Discord. I've had a public Discord server like since a few months into when I started streaming, which was like nearly two years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. I do have a Discord. It's uh, in my about me if you want to check it out there, or you can do exclamation part Discord. Both of those work. So just do that and you will find it. It is amazing. I think I even advertised it on my Twitter a few days ago, or I might have forgotten. But I'm trying to advertise it a bit more. It is like pretty active and I absolutely love it. But I always want more people, more amazingness, spread the joy everywhere. Oh my god, that dragon costume! Dragon with a tutu, that is a whole new look. I'm here for it though. You can decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with both princess dragon. On custom, custom costumes like that are my favorite. Let kids be whatever the fuck they want to be. It's so cute. I wit like I volunteer with kids and I have an internship working with kids and neither of them did a Halloween event. And I'm so disappointed. I wanted to see little kids dressed up in Halloween costumes, but that never happened. It's disappointing. I, d I had a date on Halloween, so I probably wouldn't have been able to go anyways. But. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? Oh, that that is a bad memory of... You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Oh my god, this is why children are the greatest. They are the absolute stupidest, dumbest, like... Just the brain cells do not work. I told you about this, Mosef. It was, I told you about this, Mosef. This was the one that didn't end up going very well. You, you learned about this. I had a Halloween date. If you're gonna take me on a first date, you have to make it fancy. If we're doing Halloween stuff, better. It was on Halloween, yes. Which is such a weird... For, it's been a while. That was the... Kind of ish, the last date I went on. You s uh, but I love kids, they are so cute. Huh? Right, yeah, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse girl phase. Oh my god. I mean, she looks adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. Even I mm. had like a little horse phase. I know I took horse riding lessons. I got yelled at so badly by the instructor, but I went. I was so sorry. So, uh, my mother for Christmas one year uh, got me horseback riding lessons. I don't remember why. I don't remember if I even mentioned this before, but I was interested. So I went. I the first uh, like time I went, completely fine. I was riding with like a uh, a teenager that was like teaching me and everything. It was all good. The second time I went, they were. Like, the whole time, it, the place was so disorganized. Second time I went, I had the owner of the ranch give me my lesson because they had no one else available. And so the owner of the ranch was just, like, sitting in the shade while I was, like, up on the horse in, like, the, this little ring thing. And, like, she was just, like, I would, like, go over there and she would give me instructions and stuff. And of course, this is my second ever time horseback riding. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. So as she's explaining something, specifically about how to like move my heels in a way like I was struggling with for like the lesson before this and I didn't know what I was doing. And then I, there was another person riding in the rink. So while she was talking to me about this specific thing, I turned my head to look over at the other person walking to get an example of what she meant and see what the correct form was. Literally just trying to get a visual of the exact thing the owner of the ranch was saying to me. She yelled at me so much for not paying attention. So much. I like, I like basically was not welcome back after that. I literally just turned my head. I just turned my head and I have ADHD. So like expecting me to focus really, really, and I was paying attention during that. I pro I remember that. That was one of the only times I've ever paid attention. I'm upset about that still. Because my, like, little seven-year-old self was, like, so pissed. That was so unfair. Me- so funny I realized. Me and my cousin's Halloween costumes when we were younger kind of predicted our futures a bit. We were dressed up as the Scooby Gang! Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I loved Scooby-Doo as a kid. 
I was dressed up as Fred, and now I'm fruity. Like, Fred was coded to be, ah, yes, yes, so fruity. I'm convinced everyone's just fruity, especially in Scooby-Doo. My cousin Daniel was dressed up as Shaggy. He's now a tall, lanky dude with shag shaggy face facial hair. Is he also a pot dealer? Half-joking question. <laughs> and my cousin Victoria, who was dressed up as Scooby-Doo, is now a furry. I support them in their dreams. Okay. Amazing. Beautiful. I love that so much. <laughs> I predicted your futures. Amazing. I'm convinced- isn't like Velma also gay? Isn't Velma a lesbian? And then I'm convinced Daphne is- what's her name Daphne? I might be remembering this completely wrong. But the other- other very cool person. Daniel was also pop- was always popular growing up. People knew me as Daniel's cousin. Aww. That's- aww. I was kind of known as my brother's younger sibling, but not for very good reasons. <laughs> not not for very good reasons, but eh, I go to a different school now. Mama's been fruity since Mystery Incorporated. No, no, she's been fruity every, every like since always. Velma has always been fruity. They've just denied it. How dare they? That was when they first made Velma fruity. Velma was always fruity in our hearts, okay? Dad! I believe you named that Fletcher's Sore Horsington the Brave. This is exactly how I name things. This, yes, yes, I love this name so much. Beautiful. And also, my headphones are like caught in the drawers of my desk. Here. That's such a beautiful name, I love it. Oh no. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. <laughs> Wait, by playing this game, do I get superior dad arms? Because right now I just have little twink arms. Very different effect. Velma has had a ton of boyfriends, and coincidentally, they've all ended up in flames. Yes, yes. It's the universe telling Velma that she needs to have a journey of self-realization and come out. Okay? It is! It's the universe's way! The fruitiness will always happen. The universe may- the people may deny it, but the universe will come through with that fruitiness. Nice try, but this is an important blackmail for later down the road. No, but this is cute! I think I would die of embarrassment if my, like, mother had photos of me like this, but they're just so cute. I wish I had photos. I don't have any photos from when I was young. It was literally her arc in Mystery Incorporated show. And it was planned for the start. Oh, yes! Thank you! Shows are actually kind of incorporating, incor incorporating queerness. It is yes. As they should. Finally, we're getting real representation. They made Velma start off in a relationship with Shaggy. So she could realize she was a lesbian. Like, poor Shaggy. But he was also probably too high to care. But still. The Shunners had since said that the hardest part was holding their tongue about. Yes! When gayness happens, I just want to talk about gayness. Because everyone hated the Shaggy and Velma relationship, but they couldn't spoil it. Oh, that is so cool! This is making me want to watch Scooby-Doo. Nah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your... God, band. I was in a band. Am I that cool? Ouch, kid. The Scamunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. Oh my god, we're so cool. I look up into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Too many Emmas. Too many Emmas. Dad, Emma R is my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who. Oh my god. There were options here. Tried to steal people's pets. Honestly, any little kid would do that. I yeah, that that makes sense. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. <gasps> I want her as my friend. I want her as my friend. Pooped your pants during a sleepover. Oh, that's just- no. Don't bring that up. Don't- don't bring up people's childhood trauma like that. Don't do that to them, okay? 
That's not okay. This- the second one. The second one. Right? Oh wait, the second one. Yes. It's beautiful. Yes. Yes. I- I have to- I have to, right? I, I have to. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket. Right? God, that was you. And then I'm just the coolest person ever. I wanna be my friend. I wanna be friends with myself, okay? <laughs> All right. I was a wild child. How do you forget that memory? I feel like that's like a core memory right there. Not sure if it's a core memory for the right reasons, but it's definitely a core memory. Then Mr. Incorporated got sabotaged by car sabotaged by Cartoon Network because they didn't like it was doing better than Adventure Time. Fuck Adventure Time. I never wanted to watch Adventure Time. Then I got on Netflix and became a phenomenon here in America. The Cartoon Network higher-ups were wondering why the hell it's amazing on Netflix and everywhere else in the world, but horrible in America on cable. Yeah, I like the new Scooby-Doo or whatever the fuck the Scooby-Doo there is like I haven't no one's talked about Scooby-Doo in so long. And they found out they sabotaged it and it was like, oh, that sucks. It's just like Owl House that like the higher ups just ruined that fucking show because it was gay. It sucks so much. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened to be, it just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. It's not my fault, it's the police station's fault. The police station should not have been built there, okay? I did nothing wrong. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. Did I do a good job explaining at least? I know I'm just that charming. Did I seduce a police officer? Because that sounds like something I would do. Yeah, they didn't believe me either. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. But good news, there'll be a season three of Mystery Incorporated now, eventually. Since the Warner Bros has been contacting the creators for season three. Yes, that's so awesome. And contacting the original creators as they should. That is so awesome. First photograph award you ever won. Oh my god, our daughter's a photographer. Oh, I love that. She's such like an artsy style. I love it so much. She is adorable. Look at that little kid. Oh my god. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to Mick Fridays. And then you got food poisoning. And the cheesy tostada blats. It was worth it. I'm pretty sure it was worth it. I think you mean food poisoning with, you know, with the Z. God. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Yeah, this is me with McDonald's. I got, I was like with a friend and her like parents in the car and we stopped to get like uh, McDonald's and then we just started, we were starting to drive somewhere and we were starting eating in the car, me and my friend. I got food poisoning in the car from mcdonald's and barfed all over the car like opened the window barfed all over the side of the car like it was bad barf really flies just so you know just for your information the creators are busy right now with other work but once they're free they said they'd bound to make it nice then they recently made a new scribble do Christmas special in the classic stuff. <gasps> oh, that's so awesome. I love Christmas specials. I just watched the, this is so unrelated, but I just watched the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. That is amazing. I, this is as someone who loves Guardians of the Galaxy and one of my like favorite childhood movies, but it was so good. I love it so much. The song in it, yes. And the whole big twist, like the, what you find out, yes. Amazing. Watch it, please. Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas Hero on Disney Plus. Watch it now, please. I'm getting into Marvel because one of my friends at school is like the leader of the Marvel fan club and I've joined it because I like them and want to spend time with them. Don't, don't name judge me like that. Don't name judge me like that. It's, it's, it's just my name. It, I, I played uh, Monster Prom with one of my friends and as a joke, that's what I made her name. I was slut, they were whore. And then when I started streaming, 
Monster Prom, we just stuck with the same name. Oh, uh, then chat said that I should use the same name for other games too. So this is just an oncoming theme. This is basically every story game you see. This is my name. My full name is actually Slut Gay. In case you didn't know, it's it, it's just what happens. Velma being super gay and it gives me serotonin. Yes, yes. Velma is just super gay overall. Velma should be super gay. I love Marvel. I can tell you all the Marvel stuff. I still haven't watched anywhere close to all the Marvel movies. I'm making my way through it in like the worst order ever. Like I still have never seen any of the Avengers movies, never. But I've watched all the Thor, I've watched all the Guardians of the Galaxy like 50 times. I've watched all the Ant-Man stuff like 10 times. I've watched, I just watched all the Spider-Man movies. Like I'm making it through in the worst order possible. Like, I could not be doing this in order way, but I will eventually get it through. I'm so excited for the new Ant-Man movie and the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out in 2023. So excited. They are going to be amazing. I love it. Those are like my two favorites. Like Ant-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Love it so much. Okay. Still proud of you though. I'm going to reach down deep into the box and pulls out one last photo. Hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. Oh, wait. Oh, does that, these are like, I don't think it matters. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. Wasn't anything big. Just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man, he holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him, he says. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh, that's sweet reassurance. We love that. Uh. He was right, you know? I stared at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must like be what it must be for fuck. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Oh. Come on, Pops. We we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. <laughs> okay. I'm scared of the Amen movie. And isn't someone gonna, like, I know, I've heard, like, vague, like, theories and stuff. So, like, someone's gonna die in, like, Guardians of the Galaxy. Someone's gonna die in, like, both of those movies, probably. And I don't know who it is. I, I'm, I have so many, I'm so curious. I just can't wait to watch the movie already. Because I know Scott Lang is gonna go through hell in it. Doesn't, like, other characters go through hell in, like, every movie? No! I- No! They're not killing Mantis off. They're not allowed to kill Mantis off. I love Mantis. They're not allowed to do that. That's just rude. They can't do that to me, okay? Especially after what we found out about Mantis in the Christmas special. They can't do that. No, they literally- They're just building relationships with Mantis, and they can't. No. I don't think so. After they gave her so much screen time in the special- no, they can't. I no. I'm 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 refusing to believe this. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, and then I still won't believe it. Okay. Amanda and I pile into the car, take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. At older than I am. Hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? I am I like. Uh, at my old house, I shattered a window with my head on the second story and nearly fell out the window. That was a great time. You've always had very strong arms. Ah. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? I don't think that was an accident. I, I really don't think that was an accident. You were a very imaginative child, to say the least. Hey, remember when I broke the back window pl- We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Huh. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Don't worry. 
memories to make and stuff to break. That is such a good mentality. I like that. If they do, I'll cry. Same. I will 100% cry. She's not allowed to die. I no. No death is happening. Only gay seducing right now. We're focusing on gay seducing. In our relationship with our daughter. I have a child now. I have many children. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I, I, I think I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away. I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So... So what? Huh? So... So me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheery announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Ooh. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can. Yes. Catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. I support... Oh, we have the best family. This is like the best family vibes ever. It's like a sad story so far, but like the family bonding is top notch. You sleep more than anyone I know. That's a sign of depression. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pops. I, I keep it real. I now want slut gay to me, my father. Slut me being slut gay, I can adopt you if you would like. You, you can become my child. The thing is, I do already have a husband. Mosef, Mo can bake. So I feel like both of us, me being slight, slut gay and them, Mo can bake, we have to adopt you together. So you're gonna be smirky can bake gay, okay? Also, I think I'm listening to two things of music at once. And I just realized this. Yeah, yeah, we've been listening to two music. Smirky can bake gay. Yes, you've officially been adopted. You're welcome. Welcome to the family, kid. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier? Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. We like it, we like it. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to... Wait, gas? I mean... I'm trying to park downtown is like... I'm, and I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? No, no, I- no, you don't. Parking is for losers. Parking sucks. Don't you dare. Mm -hmm. Uh, not gonna happen, Pop. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Just she can procrastinate learning that. She'll have to eventually if she wants her license, but sh she can procrastinate. We don't have to push her all the way down at once. Huh. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet. But the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Oh my god, are all the gay guys that we're trying to seduce our neighbors? Oh my god, we'll be able to see all the gays on a daily basis. I love this so much as like, yes, yes, as it should be. Gay neighbors, gay me, gay everywhere. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. Only you, darling. You're the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Exactly that, yes. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're real. The best bit of still neighborhood. Yes, yes, exactly. I've like uh, I was talking to like some of my professors and stuff about uh, like dorms and college, and apparently there's like just like gay dorms. The gays end up being like clustered together, and there's like specific like gay places that are like known for being gay in like dorms on college campuses and i want to live in the gay dorms please i really want to get into the gay dorms yeah you're a real hmm don't you dare senior hmm. dad i know where this is going citizen hmm. i'm just gonna ignore that huh. but i won't forget it so it's item number one on the new house agenda. Well, first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. 
I feel like we installed the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Can we get a hand from the gay hot dads? We, we need so much assistance. I am so weak and frail. Can a strong hot dilf come help, please? You know, you know. Welcome back, Moses. Oh, when you were gone, uh, we adopted a child, me and you. Uh, Smirky can bait gay. Smirky Shadow is now our child. We have another child. I I don't need your consent for us to adopt another child. I just did it. You're welcome. We have a child now. Another one. Hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. Get some work done, I'll then check the area out. Sounds good. Hello, child. Yes, yes. You just accept the child. I, I support that. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. We've defeated it. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with the- I got a problem with authority! I'm so proud. Uh, this is- this is also our child. Well, but exactly, I'm not married to you in this world. Oh my- uh, No, I can be polyamorous. Okay. Just, uh... Th this- this girl I adopted with another man and that man died. So, we're- we're- we're dealing with some stuff. Relationship stuff, really complicated. You should be used to this, by the way. Hmm. Man, all that karate fuck. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. Could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. You can eat whatever the fuck you want. But you can eat whatever the fuck you want whenever you want. I, I Whenever you play dating sims, you just become poly. I'm good with that. I would be good with that in real life too, honestly. There's just not a, there's not a single person that I wanna date. There's n then, so it's even harder to find multiple people that I want to date. I've not found one acceptable person yet. But we're still working on that process. So, so we'll see if we get to the poly stage. Okay, we need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Do you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Puppies? I'm- yes. You know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog person to where the dog to person ratio is very high, as it fucking should be. Yes, puppies, we love them. I only want what's best for you. Oh no, I only want what's best for you. I, doing like the voices is so difficult. I'm not doing a voice for me, but like doing the higher voice, it's still less work than normal voices, but it still kills my throat so much. Neb, do I play mar modded Stardew or Seduce Mouth? You don't- you don't do either of those without me, okay? That's just rude. Also, you can mod- I- I always forget you could mod Stardew. I always forget that. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell, DOG! To rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot or- yes. Hey, it's a dog! Oh, no. Wait, false alarm. It's just a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to the park around the corner. Okay. Beautiful. We are gonna save here. Saving. We have successfully saved. We're gonna go to title, and I think we are gonna end here. Hello there! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having an amazing day. A little bit bad timing. We are just about to end here. I've been playing this really, really cool game called... This... I, the, I always forget what the name is. Oh, also the ending thing is screwed. Dream Daddy, as we can hear from the amazing song. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> but welcome to the stream. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys have also had an amazing Christmas. I know I haven't talked about Christmassy stuff. Or holiday stuff in general. <laughs> celebrate holidays a ton. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's been really, really fun. I'm gonna be live like every single. I have been live every single day for a while. And I'm gonna continue being live every single day until the end of this year. 
it's really like I'm so happy that I'm back to daily streaming and I hope that I can continue like nearly daily streaming once I go back to school but for the next like entire week we're doing daily streams I'm like talking to my discord figuring out what you guys want me to stream and all that amazingness so you guys haven't heard my discord do that already it's very cool I genuinely love my discord so much I just got into an ad ads are evil ads fucking suck they like to bully me. They like to bully me so much. I I don't know why. They they don't like me talking about things. They they just don't like me to be happy. It's so rude. How dare that? But I think we are gonna end here. Thank you guys so much for coming to this amazing stream. We're gonna raid this awesome person where they're reacting to videos, YouTube videos. They're Rosemary Gengar. They're doing Just Shadowing right now. They're being very, very cool. So go send them some love. Have an amazing night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love you guys a ton. See you soon. Bye-bye.